Hey guys, it's Rob with Arnold Last Life, and welcome back to the next episode of Baldur's Gate. So I said I was going to go and do the tier side quest, and this is what we're going to do. Uh, let me just make sure I'm actually in the right place. I'm supposed to go to the Blade, of, Blade and Stars Inn. There we go. Yeah, it is right here. Okay. Perfect. Let's go ahead and take care of that. So all we gotta do is return some sort of like little gem. Very well. Shouldn't be too big a deal. Can't believe I never actually passed this area. Oh, where where are you going, team? Team, here. Is there a wall? There must be a wall. There's no wall. Why did you have to go the long way? Commoner and a commoner. That made absolutely zero sense. Alright, we'll make our way inside. Oh my fucking god. Can we go in? Thank you. If you insist. <clears throat> the Sphine Gen. Indeed. Then you are more than you up here. Someday you must journey further to the muck and mire of this place, where it will tell you as much or more than all a fabled candle keep. Like yourself, this city is more than it appears. There are cities below cities, dreams beneath dreams, the past laying buried beneath the crushing weight of the present. Go now, wanderer. For the time will come when uh, you must walk through the darkness to find a light. Only a thousand. Uh, well, the whole cities beneath cities. Well, I guess that's I guess that's a reference to Waterdeep. It's underneath Waterdeep. You have Undermount. What's that? All right, let's, you want to talk to any? Shit. What do you got to say to us? Picking your nose. Don't you want to talk to us? What did we do to you that was so bad? My rooms are the best kept on the Sword Coast. Yeah, okay, buddy. Let's get out of here. Let me go ahead and cross that off of my list. I X the Sears. Done. Now we have to do Larceny at the Hall of Wonders. So, go to the Hall of Wonders Museum in West Baldur's Gate at night. Feel the telescope. Oh, it's almost nighttime, time, actually. So, like, we could do it. What would you have me do? Very well. Do we need to go to West Baldur's Gate, right? West. I not done this map. <laughs> Uh, can I go anywhere around here? So this is a wall. Let me just make sure. It's definitely a wall. Okay. This city is a blight on the landscape. Better to have let the land grow wild. Okay, so I have an idea. I don't know if it's gonna work, but we're gonna go up north. Norther. Right, and then we're gonna guess going down through here won't take us anywhere. What if we go down through this side? Right? There we go. But now we gotta go to the Hall of Wonders. I guess we can explore this area first. Alright, alright! Uh, let me do a quick save, just in case. I don't want no shenanigans happening. Uh, noble, Obed, noble, and commoner. I'm not gonna bother with commoners, because, you know, I don't deal with such scrubbery. Rage fast as house. I guess it doesn't hurt. Uh... <laughs> You're a queer fellow. You can go ahead and do some thievery. 
I've done had enough of this. Are you gonna open the door, my dear? Oh my god, Emoen. Love of God, open the fucking door. Now, know thee well, I cannot let thee leave. We are meant to be together, whether ye knew it or not. Destiny or no? No long for this place. Long for this place. Uh oh. What bandit dares enter the home of Ragefast? Identify your purpose here, that I might know what to put on thy tombstone. Okay, so. Like, this bro wants to kill us. Let's go look some stuff up. So we have Rage Fast in Baldur's Gate. Okay, so the mage, uh, the mage Rage Fast is holding a nymph captive in his home in West Baldur's Gate. The three potential quests for, uh, potential givers. Quest Lady Hannah, Razmeth, and Rage Fast. Let's go ahead and just go to the actual thing. Though Lady Henna and the in-game journal both say Rage Fast Home is located in Northwest Baldur's Gate, it's actually in West. Yeah, blah blah blah. Once a player is inside, Rage Fast will greet them and refuse to let them leave because they have seen the nymph Abella, who he is holding captive. He expresses his belief that Abella and him are meant to be together. After which, Abella says that she is not for this world. If the players say that they were sent by Ramazith, Rage Fast will become hostile. It's not necessarily a problem. As Ragefast must die in order to take Abella to Razmath. If the player threatens Ragefast or Abella in any way during a conversation, he will attack. In order to talk to Ragefast and to release an Abella, the player must avoid threats and use his feelings for a. <laughs> wow. Okay, so there's, there's a, a few different scenarios here. Okay. Uh, if Abella is set free and Ragefast is not killed, she will give the player a lock of her hair as a reward, and the party also receives 2k. Uh, let's see. If the player frees Abella and returns to Ramazef without her, he will become hostile and challenge the party before teleporting himself to the top of the tower. Great. So I guess we should try to love her. Uh... Do you speak to me as such a bandit when you commit a... I'd like a little escape room. Not explain yourself before I disperse you. Okay. So, no, this wondrous being is my love and life. But I would be hers as well, but if it takes time, she will grow to care for me. Does not cage those he can. Break her spirit and she will serve you. It's not love. It's impossible goal. Your twisted feelings cause your release her before you both come into harm. Don't want that. Learn to be happy here. We shall grow old together. Beauty fades. Thy beauty is as brilliant now as the day I found you. It's flattering, but you are blinded by your passion. Uh, truly, see what has become of me. I should not age, but my spirit fades in this ugly place. Yours does as well, but for my obsession over me. Aww. In my glade amidst the stars and moon, was beauty in that, that I cannot be confined with thee. I'm not human. This is not my home. But this is my home. She will die in your care. Ah, uh, no. One if you wish, but tonight she is free. Stand in the way and you will perish. Ah, uh, it is so. Forgive me. I have been a fool. Release you from my enchantments. You are free to leave. I am not without fault. But tis my nature to breed obsession in people, hazard of being just who I am and what I am. As for my impromptu saviors, my gratitude is boundless. Please take a lock of my head to remember me by. I doubt I shall see the company of man for some. 
I'm getting a cheat. Oh, out of distress. Hold up. I don't think I remember seeing many achievements in this game. Yeah, I've only got 22 out of 129. So only 9% of us have gotten this. So just help Abella the nymph escape. I. Okay. Now that I have her hair, though, what do I do with it? Lock of nymph's hair. Like, what am I supposed to do with a lock of nymph's hair? Uh, so let's just look it up. Father's Gate. And lock of nymph's hair. Perfect. Can be sold to the owner of the sun, uh, sorcerer's sundries for 500 gold, or can be fashioned into a nymph's cloak. Buy him for 100 gold. Hmm. Let's see what this nymph's cloak does. Is a woman from the lock. It offers a plus two charisma bonus to the wear and the ability to cast charm creature. I mean, sure, why not, right? Not everyone can have cloaks, but not everyone actually has a cloak slot. Let's see, like, we we'll have a. Oh, yeah, you do. Is that a cloak? Yeah, I guess. Like, not everything. You don't have a cloak slot. You don't. You don't. Okay, well, like. I mean, it doesn't hurt to, like, explore. Leave me and get out of my home. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is save. Do do right here, and then. What would you have me do? Your wish. What happens if I kill you? I gain 2K experience. Murder incarnate. I got an achievement for it. And I don't lose reputation, which is nice. You insist. Bunch of fucking thumbs. Fuck yeah. Mage robe, an amulet, and some wand. I mean, sure. Fuck it, right? There's no penalty for doing so. No. Perfect. Is it nighttime yet? It's only five o'clock. If you insist. I guess I can keep looking around town. Wait, what's this building? High House of Wonders? Is that where I'm supposed to go? Oh, uh, Hall of Wonders Museum. The door to this house is rotted off its hinges. You assume the house has been abandoned for years. Bitch, I didn't tell you I could roll a perception for that. I go. I guess that's how do I get to West Baldur's Gate? Oh, look at that! What would you have me? It put me over here. On the opposite side of this building. I could tell. Okay, good. Yes, making sure I can actually go to it. Definitely not gonna go in here just yet. All the kids. If it's gonna make me go around, no. Fuck that. I don't care about you, commoner. That's the wall from earlier, right? There has to be a gate. I guess not. Am I invisible?
more noble. Nope. Not yet. Camaraderie, adventure, and steel on steel. The stuff of legend. Right, Boo? Right. Noble, noble, noble. Boy. Boy. We have all the wonders and the high house of wonders. Alright, okay, it's two different things. And these are all just regular kids. The ladies hall. I Your mean, company is a welcome part of, of this group. We go in, yes. I love we... money. Yes, I do. If you insist. This way, good sir. Over here. Welcome. Luck has seen fit to drop you in the lap of the lady, and shall take good care of you indeed. Those who dare are always seen in the best light, and we require but a small donation of coin or whatever you need. I mean, I know I have something to identify. Ooh! Ooh! I have a lot of money. Can I assist you? Can I buy potions off of you? I have meditations to attend to. I can buy fucking twenty end potions of luck. I mean, uh, things of luck. Hold on. Gains extra short, extraordinary luck for the next three rounds. You're a plus one bonus to saving throws, attack rolls, and minimum damage. Well, it's a 5% chance of thieving skills. I mean, that's 240. Like, it's not bad. I should buy... I should buy all fucking 20. How much is that gonna... 2,000 only. Of course I'm gonna fucking buy it. Fucking course. Uh, go on. Take that shit. That shit. There. Perfect. I'm gonna come back here later. Okay, so I love money. Yes, I do. Hello. Done ex merchant at your service. How may I be of assistance? How exactly does one become an ex merchant? Well you start by becoming a merchant. Then you become a gambler. Then you bet your business on a game of dice. And you lose. Voila, an ex merchant. Next question. Not only, it's giving me a whole new lease on life, I swear. Oh, peace out, bro. Well. We ain't losing anything, did we? Okay, this is square. A square. Nighttime yet? But please, might I have your ear a moment? My name is Varsi, and I, I heard, I have heard you sometimes help those in need, for a fee, of course. Please, would you meet with my guardian at his house? My guardian will reveal the nature of the job once we arrive. Please, it's a matter of life and death. Hmm. I don't like the way that this bro is talking to me. Varsi, Roaring Horn. Child who purchased grunge while in their party. He's neutral good, I guess. Uh, home to help his father. Uh, follow him to the home of the father of his friend, Castor. Uh, aww. Aww. Uh. Sure. May yet repair the damage I have caused this way. Your wish? Very well. Hey, I got time. Let's go ahead and do a quick save though, just in case. There is 
nothing I can do. But I must do something. It is a risk. And risk is everything. Parsi, who you brought here? I told you it must be along with my thoughts. Your thoughts is all I know. There is no, and there be no denying you. We need outside help to fix what's done. Talk among the alleys, they say. Uh, say this group is the effect of any... You tell me later how you know in what alleys to learn such things. For now, however, you are correct. In need of assistance, none of the clergy must know. Greetings to you all. I am Lord Priest Tremon Belder, humble servant of our smiling lady Tamora. My request of you is an odd and very dangerous one. I will not hold you to if you deem it too extreme. I would have you enter the Water Queen's house and retrieve my son's body. Hmm. He and Varshi sought to indulge your restless nature by sneaking about the place. The price was paid. Uh, I got away. Carson didn't. They killed him as we sought to escape. Hmm. A harsh sentence for a simple prank, but trespassing on holy ground, whatever the faith, is no small crime. You must bring his body to me. I may restore his life to him. If you can retrieve him, I will reward you whether I am able to revive him or not. What do you say? Not knowing. There's hope yet for my son. Okay, so let's go ahead and write some notes here. It's Trey Main's son. And we need to... Oh, excuse me. Oh, the body can, get, can be gotten in four different days. After being approached by Varsi, whether Gorion's word chooses to follow him or not, a 10-day timer is set for this quest. Well, that makes sense. The spell has a timer. You can buy Carson's body for 2,000. If you brought back the bowl of Tenya during the... Wow, probably not. Uh, stealth approach. You can obtain the body by pick the pockets of Jalanthia Miss... Really? You can waltz in Kill everybody in your way, and then retrieve the body. After getting uh, Jalantia and Mistmer to come and talk, otherwise you will you will not get the gayest remove, not get the gayest remove scroll or the body. The body is retrieved. The party will return to the house. The party watches at how the, the resurrection is performed. Okay, so we need to go to uh, inside the house. Temple of Umberley. That is in South Baldur's Gate. Temple of Umberley. South Baldur. Thank you. I will take care of that when it's time. But let's see what's upstairs. Nobody Even here sense. but sleeping people. Sleeping halfling. Halfling? Okay. Nothing all that useful. Alright, we're out of here. Look at the stairs. Seriously, where are the stairs? Is that it? Yeah. If you insist. Mm, you got lucky. Oh, is it nighttime? No, it's just cloudy. Well. All right, let's go. To... Are we we're in here already. I might button. Uh, I guess we can go check this place out. Unless they are both connected to each other. Is there an entrance that I am just... Okay. Camaraderie, adventure, and steel. Now it's six o'clock. The stuff of legend. Right, Boo? 
Hello. Nice to make the acquaintance of such a cultured personage. Uh... Hail and well met, stranger. I take it you're an adventuring sort. It's the moment I saw you. You do not have the manicured hands of the fops we usually get through here. Help me, uh... Well, I'll tell you, I am a bard, and you seem to be a great bard, I might add. All I really need is some good material for a song or two. And I'll be playing the big rooms, seeing how the masses always like tales of daring do. I need to purchase a few details off of you. It always makes something up. Such things never ring true. Uh, a lot of a bard is to travel and learn. Hmm. Because it's dangerous. Uh. Okay. Wow. Okay. That's a lot of text. I don't know. Something dashing and daring that will make the ladies my hero. Okay. So. Maybe there is a best reward scenario. So fourth L. August. Is it bard who approaches Grimes War in their party and asking for inspiration for his next ballad? Offering him the story of the Iron Throne will cause him to leave offended, as he will see its obvious lies. The third story will give you no reward, while the second and fourth will net you some gold. Fourth Oath speaks of 200. The exact payment depends on the game's edition. Fourth Oath is willing to hand over 200, but all his pockets yield a mere four. Uh, probably due to an oversight while programming the dialogue. Ortho will take the full 200 from an extra hidden stash that gave... Okay. So, either 2 or 4. Okay. Well, that just sounds rather brutish. I'm not sure then what Muse is supposed to take. Take your money. Okay. Alright, alright! Oh, there's not much actually in here, is there? You sell shit? John's greatest gift was the ability to invent. <laughs> uh, of course. I'm gonna buy all 19 you got. Done. Why wouldn't I buy all your potions? Um... Hmm? There we go. And I guess this takes me to the hall. If you insist. Must be that hall. Dark. Good on you, friend. Come inside the hall at once, but please remember, one gold donation. Provide sponsorship. Uh, I'll not pay. It's venture building open to public. Okay. It's just the gold. Yeah, I, I, I don't want to get into any trouble here. And the flaming fist are here. Great. Okay, this is the opposite side, as I thought. Okay, I'm going to wait until it's uh, actually nighttime in-game. So, next time we come back, we'll go ahead and enter and do this quest. But it'll be dark, and then hopefully it'll work out the way we want it to. So, thank you so much for watching, and take care.